Hi everyone, welcome to week three. So I was talking to Simmer last week, one of our biology majors in the class, and she had a great idea. What if we had a week where we looked into art for each of our majors? Um, we've got, you know, 12 or 16 different majors in the class. We got some business people, economics, finance, info systems. We've got some engineering people, computer science, double E, and so on. Um, nursing and, and communications and, and many different majors. What if we looked at the space where art and our major kind of intersected? So um, that's what we're going to try this week. So let's start with the artist of the week. So it's not going to be me telling you two artists because we all have different majors and so it's going to be up to you to go online and find some in your area. So in Simmer's case where um, it's biology, you could look for an artist who's interested in biology and uses biological material, data, or etc. as part of their art, or the other way around, a biologist who maybe is interested in art and occasionally creates pieces that work that way, or maybe is just doing their work, but they end up producing pieces that have aesthetic qualities and, and we admire them for that reason. So I've got some examples for you in the blog post, so check that out. Uh, for a few different majors, I found some things. And I guess a piece of advice I would give you is that um, you may have to do several searches. So when I first looked, for example, I was looking for somebody who did work with economic or finance uh, material. And if you type you know, economic art or finance art, or even if you type art based on economic data, what you tend to get is a bunch of results that are like auction results. How many millions or you know, tens of millions of dollars these paintings sold for. Probably not really what we're looking for. So do several searches and try working with your search terms so you can find artists who, or people in your profession who create art or artistic work in some way. And if you look at the examples I've given in the blog post, I think that should help. It'll give you a sense of some of what the possibilities are for a few different majors. Um, so that's our, so find two people. And there's some questions in the blog post that tell you kind of how to write that up. But it's basically our usual compare and contrast, except it'll be two people whose art is in your field. Um, and then our activity this week, I'm giving you two different ways you can work on that. One is to take kind of a smaller project um, that's connected to your field and actually create the piece this week. The second option is to take a larger project um, that you can't realistically do in a week either because it's just not enough time or you need a lot of resources or you need money or you know something that makes it not possible. And so you know you can do some sketches and design some elements and, and write up how it would work and kind of make the plan for the piece that you would theoretically do um, in the future when you had time, resources, whatever that might be. And I guess I would encourage you to kind of go one way or the other, to either pick something small and do it for real, or pick something kind of large and ambitious and then do a detailed outline of how it would work, rather than picking something sort of medium that you maybe could actually do, but then you just write it up and, you know, this is what I would do if I did it, and that's maybe a little bit less satisfying. Anyway, I hope you have fun this week and you maybe make some connections in terms of you know, your life and your world and your major and your career and how that connects with art. If you are having trouble finding artists to write about or if you're having trouble thinking up what your idea is, of course, just give me a shout, drop me an email and I can help. But um, you're also welcome to just run with it if you find some people who are interesting, if you come up with some ideas you want to execute. So um, thank you, Simmer, for the idea. Awesome. And hope everyone's having a good week. It's week three, so this is our, actually this will be, we'll be one quarter done with the class already. It's week three of 12. So I hope summer's going well, and shout if I can help. Have a good week, and happy June.